Hey guys, welcome to Skill Link. Meet Shruti. She's making a call to her uncle who works in one of the top MNCs in town. Now, why is that information important to you? Well, it's not, but what follows along is. Shruti, like you, is an ambitious student and wants to bag the best companies in her campus placement. She is talking to her uncle to ask him what the companies are looking for from their employees. Her uncle asks her to check her laptop charger and questions her what voltage is written on it. She says 19 volts. He then goes on to ask her and what voltage is supplied in our switchboards. To this, she promptly replies 220 volt. Correct. Now, how do you think this conversion takes place? He went on to explain that this is done with the help of power converters. Read more about them and this should surely give you an edge in your placement. Feeling motivated with this new piece of information, she sat in front of a PC to learn more about it. it looks like this has intrigued you too. Hop on along with Shruti to learn more about it. Electricity is available in two forms, AC and DC. Electricity is usually interchanged between the two types to give an output. Are you wondering why we need to switch between the two forms? Well, this switching is carried out with the help of power converters. Power converters convert one type of current to another type. Power converters can be divided into four categories. DC to DC converters, DC to AC inverters, AC to DC rectifiers, and AC to AC cyclone converters. So, this clarifies that the laptop chargers have rectifiers and convert AC to DC. Now, answering the question we had previously, why convert AC to DC or DC to AC? Well, the answer to it is very simple. If you did not convert AC into DC, then you would have to plug in your laptop every time and this would make it lose its credibility of being portable. However, DC can be stored. Power converters have made their way into a huge number of industrial appliances where this time-to-time -time conversion is necessary and unavoidable. A very good example of this would be electric vehicles. The battery in the electric vehicles get charged using an AC source. This AC charge is stored in the batteries in the form of DC using rectifiers. Now, we are aware that DC gives a constant voltage level. However, when one is driving, the motor speed varies. This speed variation cannot be carried out by a constant voltage source. Therefore, once again, the stored DC charge is converted into AC using inverters and is used to power the electric vehicle. One other very interesting use of power converters is in data centers. Now, what are data centers? Data centers are facilities in an organization that backs up all the data. These data are backed for reasons of security and untimely failure of the system. These data centers play a very important role in different organizations where data is backed up with power continuously. Rectifiers are used to convert the AC charge into DC to keep the system running. In case of a power failure from the mains, the data center is powered by the charge present in DC, hence keeping all the data safe. Another field where power converters are used is in solar panels. We are continuously moving towards renewable energy sources. One of the sources for such energy is the sun. One major drawback that solar power faces is that it is only available during the daytime. But what if we could store this energy? We'll be honest here, we are not the first ones who thought about this. The energy from the sun rays is stored using solar panels in the form of DC and using an inverter is converted into AC. This AC is supplied into your homes for running all the different appliances. After seeing all this, Shruti realized the knowledge of power converters can be used in various sectors. She decided she wanted to learn more about it. A thorough knowledge meant that she needed to know how to design these power converters. Designing power converters could be done with the help of MATLAB and Simulink. Although she knew this, she did not know how to use it. 
she decided she wanted to take up a course that would help her learn this software so that she too could design power converters. Can you guess where she found this? Yes, you guessed it right. Skilllink. If you too found power converters are something you would want to be working on, you should visit the website. The link to it is given in the description below. Once you click on the link, you will find a detailed explanation of what we have to offer you. While you're going through the course, if there are any confusions, feel free to reach out to us. But what if you have doubts while learning the course? Don't worry, we got you covered. Our technical support engineers will assist you throughout the course so that you get the experience of learning from a teacher while studying from an e-learning website. So what are you waiting for? Like Shruti, come on board with us and enjoy the experience of learning that will help you in your job. With this, we'll wind up this video here. We'll see you in the next one. Until then, bye.